Hey everyone, it's Kai from WCC, and today we're going to look at the new Bang Dream cards that got revealed um, on the stream. And uh, it's pretty interesting, they revealed a lot of the popping party cards, and they all come with a... They have this new mechanic called Songs, looks like, and what the idea is that they just order cards that are still on the field, they sit on the circle behind the Vanguard, it's kind of like you getting like a band together and, and playing a song, so that, that's basically the idea, but... It's pretty interesting, they have a bunch of new cards, and all the card effects look pretty good. And they revealed quite a bunch of them, so let's let's take a look at some of these cards. So, first off, we start off with uh, the Grade Zero Starter. Pretty standard, it's the, the normal Draw One Quick Shield. They will, uh, for, for these Grade Zeros, they will, for Pop and Party, they will come with uh, a first Vanguard for every single member of the clan. I mean, the band. Not the, but they'll probably do it for the whole clan as well. So, uh, yeah, this is... You have a Kasumi here. You're, you're gonna get Arisa, Tai, Se, Sai, and Rimi. I think that's everyone in Popping Party. So, th that's pretty much standard. Get a quick shield if you're a second, etc. Now, this is where we start to get interesting. This is the, the Grade 1 uh, Kasumi. So, when it comes onto the field on the Vanguard Circle, you can look at the top 7 cards for, uh, for a Kasumi Grade 3, up to 1, and add it to your hand. And then shuffle the deck, and then if you activate it on the regard circle, you put this card on the bottom of your deck, and then you salvage a card from the drop zone that is not called a Kasumi. Um, it has to be a popping party trade as well, and add it to your hand. So basically, it's just trading a card um, if you're on the field, and then you're trying to search for your grade 3 Kasumi when you play it as your vanguard. So it's actually pretty interesting. Um, the, the, one of the thing about popping party is they're aiming to, it looks like, I'm not sure if this will be limited to popping party, but it looks like they, they're trying to get every single member of the band on the field. So there's five members, and that exactly takes up five spots. So you have six, six spots in vanguard, including the vanguard circle, and the one behind the vanguard circle will be the song. So I'm not sure if this is only popping party, um, but it looks like it might be for the whole Bang Dream set to try and assemble your bands. Um, but yeah, this, this is basically the overall idea. And there's another mechanic too about critical triggers, but we'll look into that later. So next card is the Grade 2 Kasumi. Uh, when it comes to the Vanguard or Recard Circle, you can just search for the top 7 for a song card and add it to your hand. So songs are those new, new, uh, new orders. They're just called songs. So yeah, you can search for one of them in the top 7, add it to your hand. Pretty decent, pretty decent. It's, it looks like... With this deck, you want to always play a song every turn, because um, then they they, they generate they ge you'll see later, but they're generally pretty uh pretty self sufficient. Okay, next card is a grade two tie. So when it comes onto the rear guard circle, you can discard a card from your hand, and then pick a card, pick a song from your drop zone, and add it to your hand. So you just basically swap for a song, and then when this card, no, when when your vanguard attacks. For that turn, this card and the Vanguard gets 5k. So, generic power boost. Uh, okay, pretty pretty easy. Uh, grade 2 Rimi. So, when your Vanguard attacks, if your opponent's Vanguard is Grade 3 or higher, you may discard a card and then put reveal one critical trigger from your hand. And then for that battle, your Vanguard with the Popping Party trait gets 10k and plus one drive. So, pretty interesting since you'll have one on the field usually uh, because you're aiming for that five person setup you're getting triple drive all the time with your vanguard um and yeah there's the tri critical trigger gimmick that we see here where you have to reveal a critical trigger from your hand because i think it's it's the popping party thing they they have a song that's like twinkle twinkle little star or something and star critical trigger you see where it is yellow stars yeah yeah okay uh next one we have a sire a grade one sire when it comes onto the field you may counter blast one and put a card on the bottom of your deck, and then from your drop zone, you can pick a critical trigger and a popping party normal unit, and then add them to your hand, and this is a hard once per turn, so you cannot play another Sire and do the same thing, so hard once per turn, um, but you basically trade one one card for two cards, so overall that's pretty good too, and again, uh, it lets you get that critical trigger to pop off your other effects, and then from also gets you a popping party normal unit. So, pretty nice. Helps set up your field. And then, Grade 1, Arisa. So, when it comes in the field, on the rearguard circle, you may Soul Blast 1. And then, reveal a critical trigger from your hand. And then, look at the top 5 cards of your deck. And pick a card that is not an Arisa uh, with a Popping Party trait. Um, reveal it, and then add it to your hand, and then shuffle your deck. So, searches, for every, searches in the top 5 for anything that's uh, not itself. Um, I think you can search for... Uh, I think you can search for um, 
songs as well, because they have the popping party trait, but uh, they just it doesn't mention unit, so seems pretty good. And then we have the grade three Kasumi, the, the, the big one. If you have a Tai, a Rumi, a Saya, and a Arisa on the field, you have one of each. Um, and then your front row units get all the effects of your triggers. So it's pretty much like a front row Ultima. Uh, pretty nice, uh, especially in standard. You never have to decide if you want to put all your crits on Vanguard because they're going on everything. And then, yeah, you just if you trigger two crits, it's good times. Good times, right? Um, and then a second effect is that if you haven't played an order card this turn, you may counterblast one. And then search from either your deck or drop zone one popping party music and then and then you play it and then you play it and then if you search for your deck you can just shovel so pretty much just confirms you always get a song um every turn and feels good right so now i think that's pretty much all the characters from popping party uh we can move on to the songs so here we have uh the song the grade one song double rainbow so just a reminder, when you play these, you play them on the circle behind your vanguard, and they stay there until the end of turn. So, when this card is placed on the field, you may draw a card, so it's not a negative one at all. And then look at the top three cards, and pick a critical trigger and add it to your hand. So that helps set up getting your critical trigger gimmicks. So, pretty good, and it just basically replaces itself. Next song is Kizuna Music, and uh, this is a grade 2 song, so when it is continuous ability when it is placed on the rear guard circle your if your vanguard is grade two or higher your front row units get plus 5k power so that's pretty good uh, your front row units just get fat especially when it's just grade two um oh well, sorry it's when your opponent's vanguard is grade two or higher so not not yours and then when it comes in the field as well you may soul blast one and then look at the top five cards of your deck add one card to your hand and then shuffle it so it pretty much just gets anything as well and it basically replaces itself again so pretty nice. So here we have the uh, grade three song called Returns, uh, translated into English already. Lucky for us. So the f effect is that at the beginning of your battle phase, if you have a Tai, Rimi, uh, Saya, Kasumi, and Arisa on the field, so one of each, uh, you may look at the top five cards of your deck and then pick one critical trigger from among them and put them on top of your deck and then put the rest onto the bottom of your deck and then... If your opponent's vanguard is grade 3 or higher, uh, for each revealed critical trigger, so not just the one you put on top, if you revealed like 5 critical triggers, uh, you, you for each of the revealed ones, your whole field gets 5k. So let's say if you're lucky enough or kind of unlucky enough to reveal 5 critical triggers, suddenly your whole field gets plus 25k, um, and then, yeah, so that's like your side column just got a plus 50, and then they all you're basically going to trigger a critical trigger, and then your front row will get another plus 10 with a crit. So it seems pretty good. Uh, only when you go second, though. So if you go first, you only get the critical trigger stack. It seems pretty, pretty high pressure just for a, a grade 3 shot. Unfortunately, this doesn't replace itself. But you can kind of just search it from your grade 3 Kasumi and just search out returns. And then, bam, stack critical triggers, right? So that's it for the, the songs. They also reveal some grade 0 trigger units. So you have like a critical trigger, a draw trigger, and a heal trigger, and you probably probably reveal more later. But that's basically all they revealed. So it looks like it's pretty good. Uh, Bang Dream has been very, very powerful in other games that it's been translated to. So in Y Schwartz, it was one of the top decks. In Bang... Uh, bat uh, not Bang Dream. Uh, Body Fight, it was also one of the top decks. And it looks like for Vanguard, so far from these popping party cards, they do look, they do look quite strong. They do look quite strong. Um... We don't know how strong it'll be. These are just a few cards. Can, this one's going to release some more cards as well. So it's kind of a wait and see thing. But it looks like they're also going to release the other bands as well. Like uh, Afterglow and uh, Roselia. Yeah, Roselia. It's, it seems like a fan favorite. So regardless, more, more, but not more clans. More bands are going to be revealed. And uh, we can only wait and see. So I hope you guys like those reveals. Let us know in the comments what you think of Band Dream. Bang Dream coming into Vanguard, and uh, if, you, if you're on the Bang Dream train or not. Um, I'm definitely interested. But uh, yeah, let us know your favorite bands as well. Uh, my one is unfortunately not Popping Party, so you guys can probably guess which one's my favorite. So see you guys in the next video, and uh, I'll catch you guys later. Bye!